data there. However, there are real life applications. And I, I, I uh, of course, come from a background of medical communication and medical research in my day job. And I found this study, it was published, I believe, it was not too long ago. Um, yeah, actually really recently in May 2022 in the Journal of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. So the, the, the question that was being asked is, does, it's a comparison of Afri- African-American and white self-identified patients on how they perceive their scar after mastectomy and other breast cancer related surgeries. And what they found was that there are differences between uh, white patients and self-identified African-American patients. It, they, what they found was, and this is the direct quote from the conclusion, so this is from the abstract, you can link to the, the paper in the notes. African-American patients are more likely to have lower perceptions of their scarring appearance, symptoms, sociological impact, career impact, and sexual well-being impact than white patients. So what they're saying is that, and this is a known thing in psychology and with breast cancer, that when women have their breasts removed as a part of cancer treatment, it really screws with their ability to process being a woman. It's a huge problem. It's a comorbidity, and it lasts a long time. There's breast implants. There are tattoo artists that will draw nipples because it, it, it messes with their psychology. And what they're finding is that just by asking how people perceive to that they're perceived, it can impact like their life. Yeah, and and you know, it, it should be unsurprising that in like a social, especially like a social perception and social uh, image field, I guess, that there would be a racial component. I mean, race pervades social issues in America. Like that's just the legacy of the country that we have. And 